Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Today we are looking at a third example, which is the third exercise on your vertical projectile motion questions. So it reads as follows. A rocket is launched vertically upwards from the ground. Its engine accelerates the rocket for 10 seconds from launch until it reaches a velocity of 250 meters per second. After 10 seconds, it turns its engine off. So we have two cases in this question. Okay, we have two questions or situations in this question. The first part where the rocket is launched vertically upwards. Remember, when they say it accelerates the rocket for 10 seconds, here, um, the engine was switched on so we don't have we don't apply vertical projectile motion or rather free fall in here but we apply free fall after this 10 seconds when the engine is turned off okay now the first question says what is the acceleration of the rocket during the first 10 seconds so for this question you should remember one I will still say, let me maybe mention that we have, remember it was launched from the ground. So initial velocity was zero and it accelerated for 10 seconds. So delta T for this particular case was 10 seconds. And then it reached a velocity of 250 meters per second. This is the final velocity when the object was influenced, rather the motion of the object was influenced by the engine, right? So to answer this question, first thing first, I will say, I will take upwards S positive, right? The question is asking us to calculate the acceleration. It's okay. We will say final velocity equals initial velocity plus acceleration times change in time. What is our final velocity? It was 250 meters per second upwards, so it's positive. What was our initial velocity? It was zero. What is our acceleration? We do not know. What about our time? It's 10 seconds. So we have 250 equals 10A. Therefore, acceleration is, I believe it's 25 meters per second squared, but it's positive as you can see, because this is 250 divided by 10. So it's 25 meters per second squared upwards, right? Upwards. Now, look at number B. Number B, they ask you, what is the acceleration after 10 seconds? You need no calculations for this. After 10 seconds, the object is still moving or flying. However, it has no external force. The motion of this object is under the influence of gravity only. So our acceleration is, at this point, after 10 seconds, right? It's 9,8 meters per second squared where? Downwards. Okay? Downwards. Remember, I'm saying it is this because after 10 seconds, the engine has been turned off, so the motion of the object is only influenced by gravity. So now this is free fall. Okay? Great. Now, Number C, they say calculate the maximum height reached by the rocket. Remember, we have two cases here. You need to find one height with engine, okay? And two, height without engine, okay? Without the engine. So let's look at when it's um, power supplied. So with the engine, 
with the engine from the ground remember how far did what's happening now okay somehow the writing is not distorting so now what is happening we need to find delta y we know our initial velocity do we do we know how long it took do we know how long it took um or rather how long the engine powered the rocket yes it took 10 seconds so we know we can use this formula delta y equals vi delta t plus half a delta t squared what is our initial velocity it was zero the time was 10 seconds and what was our acceleration i think it was 25 and then again the time was 10 seconds now what is it so this is 12,5 times 100 is it 12,5 times 100 yeah so this is 1250 meters above the ground right this is 1250 meters above the ground right great now we look at the second case now this is where the object is falling without the engine all right so without the engine we know its initial velocity right we know its initial velocity what was it its initial velocity was that velocity when the engine got turned off which is 250 meters per second right now the question says we must calculate maximum height so it'll because of now the engine has been turned off the object will keep falling until it reaches maximum height so we know its final velocity is zero what are we looking for the distance from when the engine got turned off to when it reached maximum height now let's look at it here i see we will say it's better to say vf squared equals vi squared plus 2a delta y what is vf our vf final velocity to reach maximum height is zero right what is our initial velocity it was going up so it will be 250 squared our acceleration again let me not forget this upwards as positive okay upwards as positive so gravity is a downwards motion so it will be negative 9.8 delta y so 250 squared it gives me 6000 or oh, 62500 minus uh, 19.6 delta y right mm -hmm. now we have 19.6 delta y equals 62500 so this divided by 19.6 we have delta y is 3188 comma 78 meters this is not the maximum height guys now check this out now check this out so this is the object for the first 10 seconds all right for the first 10 seconds all right um okay maybe let me say it might not be a neat drawing but yeah you will get the point for the first 10 seconds um it'll be um i think it's very i think it's very steep right yeah it's very steep yeah it's very steep i don't know why i'm seeking perfection for this and <laughs> so for the first 10 seconds and then Voom. maximum height this is maximum height 
and I, I don't know how long it'll last. So we have this part for this part here is with engine. All right, this part here is with the engine. While this part here is without the engine. Why? Okay, while this part here is without the engine. So here it reached this point at 1000, or rather, this point was 1250. While this one here was 3188,78. Therefore, maximum height reached was so maximum height reached was. was 1250 plus 3188,78 this is a this is 4438,78 meters above the ground okay 4,438,78 meters above the ground. Okay? Above the ground. Do not forget this part. Okay? So, the next time we meet on projectile motion, we will be looking at the situation where something is dropped from a hot air balloon. Okay? Alright, guys. With that being said, it's a wrap. See you next time. Bye-bye.